to another bag making video. This tutorial is for anyone who is inspired by the previous videos but was too intimidated by the base. If that sounds like you, well then this video is for you. I've used as many shades of each of the colors as I had available to give this design as much wow factor as possible. So there are 16 strands per loop and there are six loops, one of each color, making the total number of strands 96. And each strand is one third of a skein length. So, yeah, again, it's, I, I'm not sure that uh, it would actually help if I gave you the measurement there, just cut your the string accordingly. Um, so, the I used the random.org again um, to generate the random sequence, but this time we could have used any coin because basically it's just heads or tails. Um, I then assigned a number to each of those, right? So heads was uh, three and tails was seven in this case. Um, but you could have used any numbers for that. Um, I just That just happens to be what this one was. Um, Again, I want to give you guys the freedom to be able to make these in a way that um, suits you. I chose random numbers. I thought it would just kind of, or like odd numbers, rather, because um, I thought that would kind of add to it. But it turns out, really, it could have been really literally anything. Um, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time actually going into how this bag was made, uh, because I really want to devote the time to showing how I made the base. So if you want to learn more about how I make bags, I would suggest checking out the link that's in the description for the Friendship Bracelet Bag Playlist. Also, again, like always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will try to get back with you on that. So far, I think I'm keeping up pretty good. Um, if the channel grows, it might become more of a problem, but um, so far, so good. Um, this bag... Probably, I think it only took me about three days in all between cutting string and to the final thing. So I really think that this is something that you guys will be able to put together yourselves. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we go. This is the part that will change everything, hopefully for you. All right, we have brought this down to where there are five um, of the diamonds, just like there were five of the loops. So there's eight on this side and there are eight on this side. And what I'm gonna do is this first one, these two strings at the very top here, I'm gonna take them and I'm just gonna send them inwards. If I had tied a knot, it's just gonna kind of make the whole thing kind of bow out. Um, don't need it to do that. So I'm going to take my little tool and pull those straight up through the middle. Ah, string is really long there. All right. Now, the next two is this green and this sort of lightish green here. And I'm going to tie that in a regular knot just like that. And you can see already that tying that in a little knot has pulled it in just a bit. Now, I'm going to take those two strings and I'm going to send them up the middle. Okay, now the next one and the next one. Again, just the regular, just like I'm coming down with a right-sided knot, and that's going to go up the middle. Now, you can see that this side is really starting to pull in. And at some point here, I'm going to have to 
trade in this tool for a needle and string. So, kind of mentioned that earlier on, I'm sure, in the video, but uh, you'll see why here momentarily. All right, the next one. And I think you can kind of tell that it's not looking like much has changed here. It just looks like just, you know, I'm continuing on with my knots. And that's the whole point of doing it this way, is you're trying to give the illusion like nothing, nothing's happened and it just, the, the base just kind of magically comes together. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little nice big tug to pull this together. Here we go, another two in. Now, comparatively speaking to my spiral bases and some of the other ones, this is obviously going to be a whole lot easier. You don't have to try to math it out or anything weird. Another one. There's four strings left. We're going to tie these two here and leave the last two. And um, you'll see kind of why when we get towards the end of this. It's uh, the last of this gets really kind of hairy because you basically are going to leave almost no space for any of this. All right. So set those off to the side and go into the next diamond. I think I'm going to have to rotate this a little bit there. And again, first two just get taken into the center. Now, there is not enough done to make it so that way, you know, this is all you have to do. So if you're, uh, if you're still there, you didn't just see that first one done and be like, got it. Um, there is more to this, and I'll have to show you how that works, because it'll have to be turned inside out, and these strings will have to be knotted on the inside, and that's where the structural integrity comes from, is what happens on the inside. What we're doing here is creating a facade that gives it a nice, clean look. So, the next two get tied into a knot. There's a little little something stuck up there from the string from before. There it goes. See, it just had to be pulled through. Okay, so these are my two, and I'm going to pull them through. Now the first one that you do, right, like right here, this part of the knot, is where you're going to kind of give it the tug to kind of give it, get the two sides to join up really well. The second one holds that in place. And you can see, we're getting the shape of a bag. And again, we're going to pull this through. Just, it kind of at this point just keeps repeating. Um, who knows what kind of insight I might be able to provide you with as I go along. So I would say don't skip ahead. But um, if you think you got this, if you think you're ready, eh, go ahead and skip ahead.
almost made this thing last night after I got done doing the whole tube portion of it, but it was like two o'clock in the morning and I knew that I was just a little bit uh, too out of it to uh, give a good whatever. Plus I, you know, you start getting too excited about these kind of projects. It's, I start going way fast and there's like zero chill. So and I thought that uh, I probably wouldn't do it the justice it needs in the explaining part. So now this morning, <clears throat> well, afternoon, um, I'm kind of a little bit more relaxed, a couple cups of coffee. I'm ready to go and it's coming along nicely. There we go. That's two of the five already ready. Now we're not pulling in the very last two. I'm thinking it might work out to where that I don't end up tying them as knots, but I'm leaving these off for now because it's a possibility. We'll see what happens at the end. It's been a while since I've done this kind and I want it to be awesome. It's just basically I want everything I ever make to be awesome. But I'm going to make sure that this is especially awesome. So we'll see how this goes as it goes as we progress here. Um, you might notice that this still has the little paper cup thing inside. Still the same one. Um, it's not really a paper cup either. It's made out of corn, apparently. It's biodegradable party stuff or whatever. We picked it up some time ago and there's a whole bunch of them left. Nobody uses them. So it turned out to be just the right kind of thing I needed for this. It ho helps hold the bag in shape. It's not completely necessary, but it certainly does make things a little bit easier, so. It's up to you. All right, so after the first two are through, tie it and pull it. Um, I definitely recommend pulling it, and you could kind of like, you know, leave this down to the bottom and then try to pull them all at once. Um, but I find that if you do that, um, you can kind of accidentally get the bag a little bit misshapen. That if you bring it through each time, that's less likely to be a problem. So again, I'm trying to do this for the beginners out there. Um, you can, you know, work on points for style after you get good at it. So, and this tool, um, obviously I think it's pretty handy, but if you just have a really long needle and some string, it'll work just as fine as well. Um, I would tell you where to buy the needle, but I really honestly, um, being in Singapore, um, what would work for us, probably not gonna work pretty much anywhere else in the world. So kind of don't wanna be like the, the American uh, tutorial people who are like, oh, you just go to Joanne Fabrics and stuff like, dude, we don't have Joanne Fabrics here. You know, the rest of the, the whole world can watch you. It doesn't, there's no Home Depots, there's no whatever. So, I'm assuming that if you are into crafts, you probably know who has crafts in your area. Go check them out. If they don't have it, they should at least be able to tell you who might. And then, yeah, go with that. The long needle I have is probably, oh, 10, centime 10 centimeters long, maybe longer. Um, you want it to be long enough to really be able to send it through the project 
without it getting caught on stuff. I picked it up because I was playing around with the, uh, I guess, like here they call them earbuds. I guess they're uh, cotton swabs or Q-tips. And uh, if you pull the cotton off the end of a Q-tip, you have a little tube. And if you run some string through that little tube, you can string them together into various shapes, the little pyramids and things, which turns out is pretty structurally strong. And I uh, taught a bunch of kids some physics based on that. It was fun. Had a lot of fun with that. So I ended up with a bunch of long needles. Just turns out that they're good for other stuff too. So. All right, another side down and we are off. A couple more to go. And you can see it's already making the shape and stuff for the base really nice over here. I mean, this is coming along really well. And unlike my first bag where you can see like the seams, this one hides it really well because it just looks like they just rose continued and the thing sealed itself up. So the, I already have plans for the next bag. I don't know if you're watching the community part portion of my YouTube channel, but I've been kind of using it as my place for leaking the uh, images and stuff of whatever's coming up, right? So uh, the uh, next one is neon and rather than doing more of this random stuff I actually have a pattern for that one so if you're kind of sick of the randomizer which I can kind of understand the next one is for you it's going to be pretty awesome it's uh, an idea I've had for kind of a while couldn't figure out quite how I would execute it and then I had the this new string that came in and I've got kind of excited about using it and uh, needed to come up with an idea of what kind of pattern would I do with six colors and I left that you know I, I tossed out the idea see if anybody would give me a whatever to, to work on no takers so I uh, decided to solve the problem of this idea I'd had from a long time ago and that's what we're gonna do so so basically there's no need in trying to answer the question of what pattern I should use because now I've already sorted that out so in fact I've even got the wife working on the kumis I've got a couple of those already done so as soon as I finish with this I can start on the next project So now that we're kind of getting further in, you can see that it's wanting to like leave a great big gap here. Um, but that's easily fixed by just kind of giving it a good snug pull. Don't let it dictate how, how it wants to go. You make it come together. That's the, that's important. Even if it looks a little bit like this, portion here is sort of like puckering in that's okay um, because you can kind of shape it out afterwards just make sure that the the seam is well sealed up and uh, brought together okay. Throw the 
plus two off to the side. So it looks like it's out of place, right? But if we just kind of do that, suddenly, boom, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You have to, I guess that comes with experience. You'll learn when there is a problem and when it's just um, something that you can ignore because obviously that's not a problem. All right. Now, first one and like all the same color somehow all ended up right at the same spot there we go there's the first two so if you guys have any ideas of maybe I you know like a project or bracelets that you've wanted to try you saw a picture perhaps Instagram or wherever and you're trying to figure it out having trouble um, I don't want to just like make patterns for you because that's really I don't want the channel to be about like Kevin makes patterns that's not um, that's not a good use of all my experience but if you have something that you wanted to make and you can't seem to figure it out that would be fun just let me know what those are leave a comment or get a hold of me through my email or website or whatever and uh, try to work on those kind of projects because uh, I never quite know what everybody is up to. Um, I definitely want to teach people to be able to do the patterns and s stuff on their own, be able to create, be able to do whatever. Um, I just saw a comment on Facebook and not to, I'm not going to call the person out on it. If you saw it, please don't call them out. But they were requesting patterns that didn't have blue or black. So, and this just, this just kills me. Apparently, people aren't realizing that any pattern can be done with any colors. It doesn't, just because you see something on the paper or on the screen in a group of colors, you can use those to represent anything. And if you were learning through my method of, of the way I teach bracelets, you would have already known that. That's, that's a given. Um, I oftentimes, even on, say, a fade, will use the, a rainbow in my design because then I can easily see this is the first string, this is the second string, which, you know, it just makes the whole process easier and because if you try to do a fade on a computer it's like trying to figure out which one is the right color yeah you'll make yourself cross-eyed before you are finished and there, what's the fun in that so yeah um yeah i want to teach how to create and make it fun um, as well as I, I've seen a, a recent article saying that um, making friendship bracelets is a meditative process and I think I'm going to do a video on this um, topic because I don't think everybody's getting how that works if you have to use a piece of paper and you have to look at it for between every single knot that you're doing, you are not going to feel like this is a very meditative process. I mean, look at this. I'm sealing up a bag, which is technically should be something halfway difficult. And yet I'm having a conversation with you guys because it's made simple. I don't have to think a whole lot about what I'm doing. I'm not having to follow some instructions or something. It's easy and 
if you work on things and you learn how to make these things easy, then you will have a meditative like experience. And that's, I can tell you from my own experience, that's awesome. It feels great. It's what clears my head after taking care of two people with, with uh, dementia. This is, this is how I stay sane in a house full of crazies. So if it uh, does that much for me, I don't know what you guys are going through, but I would imagine it's going to be helpful. All right, so we're down to the last one now. So this is sort of awesome. And you can see the whole thing is closed up quite a bit already. And it's going to get increasingly more difficult to get those strings inside. So just take our time, make it happen. And more importantly, we won't get our strings in a bunch. So, oh, so this thing has like a safety pin type of thing that just came out kind of all right first two through right up next ones Oh, I'd like to feature a bunch of the stuff that I have inspired you guys to make. Um, I just recently had to wipe out my computer, so I'm not sure if I still have all the images that I was meant to be saving, or at least where I put them. So if you want to make it easy on me, you could just um, tag me or I guess we could use a hashtag for it in Instagram so that way we can uh, I can get a hold of the images and totally give you guys credit whoever if you want to have your ipsy account or whatever featured in the video you have to just let me know and uh, I'd like to show what we've accomplished through these videos I think it would be inspiring to other people to know that these videos, if you take the time and you actually watch them, that uh, it will turn into something decent and cool and fun. Something's off on my numbers here. Alright, this knot wants to roll because it wasn't tied very tight. I need one of these to fix that. Not sure you guys can actually see what's happening here. But this yellow over the green. All right. 
right, so now we're down to the ends. And I think we still have a bit of room so we can actually t go ahead and tie these up. It's just going to get really difficult. I'm going to slide this whole thing forward so the cup is a, a little bit less restrictive because we really want this to pull into a nice point, right? So the cup was holding the shape. Now, let's let this come in better. And so I tied those together. Oops, bump the camera again. And these. I'm going to pull the, all of the last of them through with one pull. Just so it will make it just a little bit easier, I think. And you can see I'm kind of keeping the strings that I've done from the strings I haven't done just to help make that part of the process a little easier. And I truly believe if I had tried to bring these all the way to the very end earlier, I think I would have had a much harder time with the last of these rows. This, leaving these last ones, I can see that it's really bringing together anything that wasn't pulled tight. See, like there's a big gap between these two. So now I can go ahead and draw that really, really in. And the hole is too small for my other tool, so I need my needle. Unfortunately, I don't have my string in it. Uh, that would have been helpful, right? So, no, this thing is way longer than 10. This is, uh, looks like it is just over 15 cm. So, nice long needle. I just grabbed whatever string was available, just happens to be this cat gut, which is sort of awesome because it is super, super strong. And uh, if you have to pull something through or whatever, there's no chance you're gonna snap it. And I know cat gut sounds horrible. It in no way was made from cats. I have no idea why it's called that. If you know why it's called cat gut, leave it in the comments. I really kind of curious myself as to why it just doesn't make any sense. It has another name for it too. I always forget what that is. It begins with an S. But, all right, there we go. And Here we have it inside out. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to tie these to the next ones down. 
and do it in a square knot so that way it doesn't come undone and that's where your structure comes from so by tying these together you're making it so that way they can't come unraveled and that's that's what that does and then right at the middle all of the strings at the center you're going to twist that up and tie that into a big knot which will make it so that way there isn't any kind of hole in the the middle of this and that's it all right and i'll be back with the finished product all right so there we have it um inside everything got tied up i don't know if you can see that can you see that yeah um and that's what it looks like so here let's uh kind of zoom in on that a bit oops and um yeah, i got a little thread there that i can probably pull that bit in but you can see it hides it without seams right i mean that's pretty good so and that's easy this is um arguably much quicker and easier mind you we did have to do some additional rows to get it to the similar length um, let's grab these other ones here just for comparison so yeah you can tell basically if i hadn't created those extra rows down because most of the work here comes after those points right so right so there you have it um hopefully this will get some of you that haven't been interested in doing a base before to now think hmm i can do that i mean after all if you can join two bracelets together right then you can join in this case six together and if you put six together and then you can just follow those easy steps as to how to bring in the the, the bottom of it now you have a bag and uh who knows maybe uh maybe we could uh tag me in a instagram thing or something and uh i'll feature you know show the world what you did oh somebody asked me what this thing was real quick that's all nothing too crazy so all right uh, until next time don't get your strings in a bunch <laughs>